look at this massive aircraft carrier. It almost even looks a bit like a container ship. One of the new things is adding in the Air Force. And you can see that these aircraft carriers are just duking it out, right? But I have a question. Just how many planes can you fit on an aircraft carrier? Specifically, the stealth bombers. So what I'm thinking here is we actually have to like increase the size of this aircraft carrier by maybe even four times. So what we should first do is fire all available planes to suppress the enemy. Like so. And then I think what we want to do is get a few flat guns at the front. But you can see how adding stuff makes your ship sink down in the water a little bit more, just like it would in real life. You can hear the creaking on the ship already, and we haven't even started to begin to put in all of our planes. So what we're gonna do is test to see how many on our existing aircraft carrier before we upgrade it to a massive aircraft carrier. I don't know what these are, but we have to sell them. Are they buoyancy? I hope not. Am I gonna sink my ship? <laughs> oh, I feel like that guy in the Titanic. But the ship, ship can't counts. sink. And, and then it does. <laughs> We're shooting down every plane that's coming our way. I think I'm getting carpal tunnel just by doing this. Now, this is obviously very expensive, but that's why I went with the architect. I mean, look at this. Massive cost reductions to everything that I need to build in order to pull this off. Now, I have instant build on as a mod, and this is still how long it takes. This is getting obscene. Oh, I can fit one right back there, perfect. Use every bit of space available to us. I can't put it on that guy's head. Now, that makes sense. Normally you don't put planes on top of soldiers' heads. All right, is that, wait a minute. <laughs> I see a spot right there. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, the front of the ship is just straight sinking. Now, if this core goes underwater, it blows up, right? Wait a minute, we'll put the carrier deck here, but that means, you guessed it, more stealth bombers. Oh, that's too, there we go, we can fit one right in there. I'm genuinely curious what would happen if you could cause a chain reaction by shooting one of these, would it cause just like massive chain detonations and just tear the ship into pieces? The last three, okay, so how many is this? 133, now we've done 100 before. Since the ship is like sinking, we have to do this weird bracing because there's it's sloping downwards. It almost won't even let me do it. Look, it's gonna fall. It's too small. And it's gone. Yep. The things you never thought you would be encountering. So here's the question. Will we force this nuclear reactor to go fully submerged and as a result, cause a massive explosion? It's possible. Actually, probable. The more we build. Yeah, the ship is like buckling. All right, so here we, we're what? Like, uh, I guess 175% of our original space maybe? And building is already getting weird for how badly we're breaking this game. <laughs> it doesn't even look like an aircraft carrier. It does look like a container ship. Uh, where are the cores sitting? Actually, pretty decently. I guess we have some pretty good, uh, buoyancy properties to this ship. And you know what time it is now. More planes. Like, if you think about this, Congress would have had to approve of this being funded and put into service. <laughs> and the senator from West Virginia approves the 6,000 aircraft supercarrier. <laughs> but he demands that it's coal powered. Didn't the Japanese create like a, a super carrier based off of one of the uh, Yamato, the biggest battleship ever, one of its sister ship hulls? Uh-oh, we're getting to where like there's not enough uh, ceiling clearance. Oh, you know what we need to do? Get rid of these guys. You're taking up valuable real estate. I could fit planes in here. Ha, that's two extras. Okay, look at this thing. Now it's like double the size. And they keep sending planes that futilely get shot down. The enemy is like, you know what, we're not gonna upgrade our ship. <laughs> Sir, you are not keeping up with the Joneses. And I'm I'm the Joneses, where, uh, yeah. But, like, the Joneses make an aircraft carrier. It's like an episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia, man. 
The gang builds an aircraft carrier. Honestly, how are we still floating? It doesn't make any sense. We sunk it! Wait! Repair! Repair the core! So how many planes can you fit on an aircraft carrier? We answered the question. No! No! <laughs> Catastrophic failure. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. Stabilize. Stabilize the ship, Captain. <laughs> it's upside down. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and then the enemy sent one plane to blow us up. I was building that for 15 minutes. Okay, okay. Let's see that in an instant replay. So we need to know where to stop. All right, he, wait, wait, there it is. Okay, so we've got how many decks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wish I could click on my plane to see how many aircraft we have, because I guess, oh, is it this juncture, this key point that cracks? Let's go to one eighth speed. They send a plane, we start firing. Dude, one eighth speed is amazing. Slow motion, no. Now we get to see what happens to the plane. It just blows up, okay. Yeah, right around here is where things start to crack and it causes the ship to break in half. Oh, it broke here. Oh, look at these little spots. That's so intriguing. I wonder if I would have put one crossbeam right here. Here it is. Which one breaks first? Could it have been the reverberations from the guns firing? They should start cracking as the wings fly by. There it is. Yep, right there. And then the ship floats up because of all the weight has fallen and it starts a massive. This is catastrophic failure <laughs> in one quarter speed. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Look at that. Oh no, all of those valuable stealth fighters. That Senator from West Virginia is in big trouble now. He approved this thing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then the front core detaches from the rest of the ship and it sinks fast. And then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stabilize this thing. We're gonna fight back. And then the enemy's like, you know what? I am gonna hit you with some precision strikes. <laughs> oh man. Well, that answers the question. And I think the issue is if we do this properly and not have that weird little bit because we weighed down the front of the ship then it should be stronger i'm curious what happens if you put gunners like right near the water line whoever built the titanic it was me definitely more cross beams because we do want to stock this thing what's interesting is those crates aren't anywhere to be seen you hear the creaking? Now it's making me worry. Okay, we need to strengthen the core. Because we do need to sink the enemy carrier. Wouldn't you know it, I got Congress congressional approval for another super carrier. Like, did the guy who designed the Titanic make more ships? Or did he, did he go down with the ship? I'm not going down with the ship. I'm going to make more. <laughs> Basically, how I got reapproved was I told Congress. I went up in front of them, and they're like, Can you explain what happened with... Our $68 trillion investment. I'm like, guys, I just said I'd make it. I didn't say it wouldn't sink. And they're like, oh, okay, let, let's let's give them a proof for more money. Make another one. I'm like, wow, this is how the government works. One of the issues could be that I was using back bracing instead of the stronger wood. It's like we're using twigs instead of like a strong oak tree. Because doesn't oak not get mildew? Isn't that why they use it in wine? That's why they have it in Stardew, right? <laughs> Alright, here's what we're looking at. I'm not seeing anything blinking. However, I do see a very weak spot. Because you see this guy? He is uh, not looking too happy. So we'll strengthen everything with a little more core bracing. There we go. That's stronger, right? 
Oh yeah, that's a beautiful spot for more planes. All right, this does not look strong. What am I doing? <laughs> this is not gonna turn out well. I think I've seen this movie before. Guys, I think we're reaching the limits of our engineering abilities. I'm, I'm cashing checks that the senator from West Virginia can't... I'm writing checks that he can't cash? Yeah, that, that's what I mean. This might have to be it. So we'll just fill it in. Uh, if it breaks, it breaks. This was about where we were getting in the last one when everything broke. So if we put planes on like, look at this, it looks like a proper carrier deck sticking up off the ship. World War II style. You know, World War II with like F-117 stealth fighters. <laughs> Used as fighter bombers, because reasons. Can I put one here? Nope. Can I put one under the water? <laughs> All right, how many do we have? Oh, it says five. Oh, that's because we still have these guys. Please don't break, please don't break. Looks pretty good. And we're still able to defend ourselves. 226. All right, let's strike the front of this ship. Yes! We're just gonna go down the line on this ship. Look at it, just getting wrecked. Oh man, the little containers I think are keeping it afloating. You know what? There we go. Cause of massive collapse, lose their superstructure. Another core erupted as it went underwater. I just want to use all of these. Like we've almost destroyed them and we haven't even used 50% of our planes. There we go. I still think I had over 100 left on our super carrier. Look at that. So anyway, thank you for watching another episode of Forts. If you guys do want to see more, pull the trigger on that like button and let me know and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.